Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to draw the 3 4th view of the body proportions of an anime boy. So let's get started. First off, let's draw a vertical line for the center of the body. This is where the character is going to be. And then a line for the ground or the bottom of the character. And then a line for the top of the character, top of the head. And then, I, again, I'm going to, you know, give this character a 6 heads height. So, first off, I'm going to divide it into 2. And, okay, that was terribly wrong. Okay, like that. And this is where his pelvis is going to be. And then from here, I'm going to divide the upper half into 3 sections. And this is going to be... The height of a head of the head and then this is gonna be I'm gonna divide it into two because I don't really need to divide the legs into three parts and now let's go on and zoom in a little bit and start with the head always like to go from top to bottom because I think I don't know because we pay more attention to this part maybe I don't really know and by the way, I'm, first of all, I'm going to just, you know, draw ver some very simple shapes for the proportions. If this is a sketch, of course, after I have drawn, you know, the sketch, you can, or we will draw in the details. Okay, now the neck. I'm not gonna you no. Know, I'm not going to go into details on how to draw the head because I have another video on how to draw the three for view of the of the head of an anime boy. But basically, you want to keep everything on this line. You see, this side and this side is is uh, the distance from the center is exactly the same, so that it does not look like he's you know tilting off to one side. The same goes for the neck. You want to be you know exactly on the center of the body now it's it's a little bit hard to you know, explain how the neck the length of the neck should be you just have to you know be experienced with it but basically just look at some references and you will get it it's not that hard now for the shape of the body okay so he's gonna be standing like straight up and when we're standing straight up, we actually curves you know, like this on our back. And in this case, you can only see a part of the back though. So it's just like that. And this part is, it, it curves a little bit inside, but it's still pretty, pretty straight compared to this curve. And then make sure, you know, you might think that because this part is closer to us, this side has to be for further from the center than this part but in real life that difference is very small very minimal so you can pretty much just disregard that fact now just keep these two sides equally far from the center now before now we're not gonna draw the arms first we are going to finish off the main stem of the body again the hips keep them on the same side actually this this curve was a little bit too much I'm gonna you know, be almost completely fat flat not fat but flat hmm, yeah maybe I should I should draw some characters that are fat hmm, what do you guys think I might be doing a um, video on how to draw fat people I don't know overweight people by the way fat is may maybe a little bit negative I think I don't know but for legs uh just simple shapes you can you can just do you know two two rectangles down here like that but you could also if you plan to give him a bare legs you know without you know a garment covering the legs then you might want to you know give him some shapes but we're gonna give him a pair of jeans later on so it's not really that important and by the way the knee is not on this line it's a little bit above this line because we're gonna save space for the ankle and the feet 
And by the way, just for the sake of learning, I am going to draw in some shape of the leg so that you guys can see if where to draw him naked or something. How should it look like? How it should look like? So it basically gets really thin there. And also when we stand, our our toes tend to point, you know, in two direction two directions. So it creates a V shape. And in here you can see that you know this foot is pointing towards that point, and this foot is almost at the is point pointing almost at the camera. So like that, maybe a little bit to the side too. And as you can see, I'm drawing it in orthographic. You might want to, you know, if I were to draw it in a perspective 3D way, I ha I would have, you know, drawn this uh, foot much lower so that, you know, it, you get the angle from above because when you're looking at the character and you look at his feet, you're looking from above. But in this case, we're just going to draw him orthographic so that you guys can see the proportions, different proportions. I might want to do a, a video on how to draw it in perspective. So in this for this leg because he's pointing to the side the you know the curves became even more you know significant more clear okay that's it and let's just go up again and for the arm we are going to just you know some people want to draw you know a circle there and a circle there for the joints you know you could do that if you find out that it works for you a lot of time I think it's just you know unnecessary so just do something like this and by the way um, I'm just going to give him some you know, lines to indicate where different parts of the body is and by the way in order to avoid it looking a little bit too stiff uh, because nobody really, you know, stand with their hands that stiff. If you stand, you know, relaxed, your hands, your, I mean, your joints are actually curved, you know, by its nature. So it's like that, and this one is being covered mostly, and like this. Yeah, pretty good. And by the way, the wrist is going to be around where the pelvis is. You know, it really depends on the proportions of the characters. Some some people have long arms, some people have short arms. But this is a rule of the thumb. Now for the hand. So the size of the hand is something that I think is really hard to get correct. Take me a lot of time to, you know, be experienced with it. But it's basically like this. By the way, I feel like this card is a little bit not that much of a three for you. Maybe I should have drawn, you know, the legs overlapping each other a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to actually move it a little bit closer to each other. Yeah. Let us zoom up again and look at it from above. And if you can't, you know, because it, this is just sketch and you, it's really not relatable. So you can, you know, it's optional. You can just draw in some lines to indicate, you know, where different things is. And it becomes much more pronounced, you know, what, what is what. And it's also more relatable for you because you don't see these things in real life. So you don't know how the proportions should look like. So... You could add in some details like muscles or something to you know give you an idea if the proportions are correctly drawn. And here is the belly button, abs even. I'm gonna make him a little bit thinner. And collarbone.
and by the way the neck is way too thin way too thin no well it really depends on the style how thick the neck is but by the way i i just found out that the neck is too long so i'm gonna, gonna move the head a little bit down and then a line for the eyes and another line for the ears and that's about it okay so if you look at it again it looks much better actually much more realistic and it looks okay this character is, is correctly proportioned drawn so we are going to start with the, the details and of course we're gonna go from top to bottom again so yeah for the head for the face I have a video on how to draw the three for few as I've said and I'm not going to you know be very detailed and and explaining everything I do so if you want to learn how to draw you know the face I mean the three four view of the anime face of the boy then you can just check that video out by the way this one looks a little bit strange and actually gonna erase his jaw It's so small anyway, so it's really hard to get in all the details correctly. Just try my best. <laughs> I'm giving him a really mundane face. So I. I do have a video on how to draw hair too, but I don't think it was in 3 fourth view. Maybe I I should do one on that. But in my video where I, I show you guys how to draw, you know, 3 fourth view of the face of an anime boy, I also showed you, you know, how to draw the hair. So make sure you check that video out. I'm going to put a link to that video on, in the descriptions. In the description. <laughs> And uh, but it's it's actually really simple if you get you know get get the idea on how to get the flow of the hair correctly. But sometimes if you want to draw you know really stylish hair, then it starts to become you know difficult again. Okay, so that was the hair, and we are going to give him clothes. For this character, I'm going to give him, you know, a sweater. Not a sweater, a hoodie. So I, I don't know why, but I really like to draw hoodie. You know, I've I've kind of you know got the a really good sense of how different things curves and creases on you know hoodies so it's actually there, there there's really not much to talk about here because I I have also made a video on how to draw you no know, creases but not for a hoodie of course I might want to do that a video on that too uh, you know, so the thing about hoodie is that there are many different types of fabrics you can get of a hoodie, but most of them are probably a little bit hard, not very hard fabric, but hard compared to you know like a t-shirt, and it's also thick, 
Well, not for the girls. The girls uh, hoodie tends to be a little bit, you know, not thick. But again, it is thicker than, you know, t-shirt and uh, other kinds of uh, clothes. So when you're drawing a thick cloth, it tends to have, you know, you know, large bumps. That's that's about it. I don't think there's anything special about it. Is there? I don't know. This one is strange. I'm gonna change it. No, this one is too strange. Why every crease looks so strange now? I don't know. Okay, now that looks that that looks so strange. I don't know what I'm doing now. I really don't know what I'm doing. acceptable I just leave it like that and also I have mentioned it in the other video but you know the creases of of the top of the body is gonna be pointing towards the center downwards like pointing towards the pelvis I don't know why really but it just it's just like that it has always been like that Also, at the end of the, you know, clothes, make sure you have a curve, not a straight line. Of course, in some cases, it has a straight line. But most of the cases, you want to have a curve on that spot. And for jeans, it's really hard fabric, and it's also really thick. So the bumps are quite big, and also the creases is quite... Uh, no, there are fewer creases, but the creases are more... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you know, it's really hard to remember, you know, what to do. You know, I forgot to zoom it out. But, you know, for jeans, you know, remember that you... Uh, that the creases are large and s deep Now for the shoes, I'm just going to give him a really normal running shoes. Okay, now for the hands, that's pretty much what we're lacking. And by the way, I'm just going to, you know, erase these muscle lines of course these does not belong here if you do not draw the muscle lines when having love it will, it will look like you know the clothes is really tight I'm 
Okay, so I have a video on how to draw hands relaxed. So because it's really hard, you know, to explain all the stuff that I'm doing here now, you know, in one video. Video, so you can, you know, just check that video out, <laughs> guys. Just check that video out on how to draw hands. But basically, if you look at how I draw, you know, the the sketch for it, you will see that I have, you know, these guidelines that are, you know, that are slanted. I mean, you know, the pinky is shorter, but they fall. They kind of follow a curve. You know, these these fingers. You know how these fingers curve, and you know the length of each of them. And of course, I'm going to give him a t-shirt inside of of the sweater that he's wearing, or a hoodie. I don't know what what this kind of clothes is called. This garment is a hoodie. I think it's called a hoodie, but I feel like hoodie is not a really normal word word. So maybe it's called a sweater, but I think this is not a sweater because sweater doesn't do not tend to have a hoodie in it. I don't know. And by the way, I'm just gonna add some creases to here and maybe to that part. Also, I'm gonna make the lines a little bit clearer. This is looking a little bit strange. Okay, so if we zoom out again, it looks pretty all right. Just some minor issues with you know, this part of leg. And this crease is really ugly. I'm gonna change it. To something more natural like this Actually, gonna move it a little bit to the side, like that. And for the neck, let's just draw it. No, make it clearer where the neck is. Okay, let's check this out. And pretty all right, pretty all right. Of course, I forgot. You know the laces. Now, of course, we are. I think we're done. Okay, so let's just say we're done. 
and we are going to draw. I know this hands is a little bit unnatural. I don't know why. Maybe they're pointing a little bit too much to you know to the front, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and shade this guy because it's we it's taking a long time now. Before I do that, I'm just gonna make this you know really clear where different thing is. Okay, so for shading, just do diagonal lines. I feel like I'm repeating, you know, whatever I've said on the other videos where I show you guys how to draw the proportions of a body in the front view and side view. Because most of those principles apply here. And you can if you actually if you know how to draw a side view it's very likely that you know how to draw you know the free for view also there are just minor you know perspective changes and stuff So as you can see, I'm also doing the gradient. You know, here you can see the great, uh, you know, the the lines, but here I'm just doing the gradient. You know, I don't really care that much on you know if it's you know clear lines cross hatching, or if it's just you know a gradient. As long as it looks like shadows, that's the most important thing. And actually, I have this really sharp pencil here. Mechanical pencil. A lot of people ask me what this is. This is just a mechanical pencil. I don't really know, you know, what this is. Pilot Super Grip 0.1. I mean, 0.7. So, this is just a pencil from, you know, like 10 years ago or something. I don't know. Okay, and of course, I'm going to add a line that is on the side of of the jeans. And also a line here. And then I'm just going to give him an overall shade to the jeans. Here it's important that you get the pressure you know have the same pressure throughout the whole jeans and also the spaces should be you know the same but I fail a little bit there whatever and then also I'm going to give him you know a shade on the whole sweater or hoodie and the reason Actually, there's no reason why I'm doing, you know, this, this direction. Did the shadows in those direction and this direction? No, there's no reason. I'm just, you know, doing it because I feel like I'm touching, you know, this side if I place my hand like this. Whatever. Okay. Now, for the t-shirt the inside, I'm going to give it a really dark shade. Like that. For the shoes, you know, again, much darker. Kind of doing cross hatching here. I don't know. I don't really care about, you know, cross hatching or gradient as long as it looks like shadows. And last but not least, of course, some lines on the ear, and we are done. So, hope you guys learned something new. And 
If you like the video, please leave a like. If you have any question, just leave that in the comment section below and I will be uploading a new video pretty soon. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.